Something called runway incursions has been getting a lot of press. Basically, a runway incursion is when someone taxis onto a runway when they should not have done so. Let's look at this first in regard to controlled airports, those with a tower. Generally, when we get a taxi clearance for a departure, we are cleared to a runway along a specified route. Using Hagerstown, Maryland as an example, if the taxiing is to runway 27, it starts at the T-hangers on the west side of the field, that clearance to the runway means we are cleared to cross runway 202, unless otherwise stated. If the controller instructs us to hold short of the other runway, 202, that instruction should be read back to the controller and heeded. The hold short markings for a runway look like this. We are to hold short of the solid line. The dashes are on the runway side, the active side. If the controller instructs us to hold short of the ILS critical area, those markings look like this. An airplane past this point on the ground can interfere with the ILS signals for airplanes on approach. Taxiway and hold short markings are all in yellow. There are also runway holding position signs with a red background located at the holding position on taxiways that intersect a runway or on runways that intersect other runways or at the departure and approach ends of the runways. If the sign just says 27, that means you're coming to the threshold of runway 27. If it is a taxiway other than at the end of the runway, or if the sign is on an intersecting runway, it will identify the runway ahead. If, for example, it says 202, that means the threshold of runway 20 is to the left and of runway 2 is to the right. After landing, you're not considered clear of the active runway until every bit of your airplane is clear of the runway hold short markings on the taxiway side of where you turned off. At an uncontrolled airport with no tower, there may or may not be markings, but the drill is the same. Don't taxi onto a runway until and unless you're 100% positive that the runway is yours for the taking. Use the common traffic advisory frequency to listen for other aircraft and to announce your location and intentions. But also remember that all aircraft may not be using this frequency, so you have to look for other airplanes. Be especially wary if there are multiple runways that cross, or if it's a single runway airport and you can't see the other end of the runway. The designation of an active runway at an uncontrolled airport is advisory in nature only, and the definition of an active runway is any runway or runways currently being used for takeoff or landing. Taxiways at large airports are identified by letters on yellow and black signs. There are also those yellow stripes down the center of the taxiways. Don't taxi anywhere that's not that yellow stripe. Good pilots do some other things in relation to runways. One is two, when told to taxi into position and hold, stay at a bit of an angle to the runway so that you can look back over your shoulder at the final approach area. Another thing to do is always check your compass against the number painted on the runway. Yes, pilots have taken off on the wrong runway. Finally, at controlled airports, let the words of a regulation ring in your ears as you move about the area. That rule simply states that, except in an emergency, no person may operate an aircraft contrary to an air traffic control instruction in an area in which air traffic control is exercised.